Far beneath the expanse of the Atlantic, just north of Puerto Rico, lies a place where the Earth quite literally bends under the weight of its own forces. Plunging more than five miles below the surface, the Puerto Rico Trench is not only the deepest point in the Atlantic Ocean, but also one of the most geologically volatile regions on the planet. Here, the North American Plate and the Caribbean Plate meet in a restless, grinding embrace, storing unimaginable energy that has been building, in near silence, for centuries. Scientists warn that this hidden chasm could unleash a megaquake, powerful enough to reshape coastlines, trigger a towering tsunami, and alter life for millions in the Caribbean within minutes. History offers chilling precedents, earthquakes that leveled towns, waves that swallowed harbors, and disasters that struck without warning. And yet, the most dangerous rupture of all may still be ahead. It is a place of breathtaking beauty and hidden danger, and understanding it could be the key to surviving when nature unleashes its full power. Today, let's delve into the dangers of the Puerto Rico Trench, examining its volatile geology, mysterious history, and the looming threat of a megaquake. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. The Puerto Rico Trench, located where the North American Plate meets the Caribbean Plate, is the deepest part of the Atlantic Ocean, with depths exceeding 8,300 meters at its deepest point, Milwaukee Deep. This trench is formed by complex tectonic movements, where the North American Plate is subducted beneath the Caribbean Plate. Unlike typical subduction zones, the Puerto Rico Trench experiences oblique subduction combined with strike-slip motion, where one plate is gently forced beneath the other, while both slide past each other. Beneath the trench, the Caribbean plate slides eastward, allowing the North American plate to subduct obliquely, creating shifting tectonic dynamics. This oblique subduction zone contributes to the region's high seismic hazard, with frequent earthquakes triggered by the friction between the plates. The geological landscape shows evidence of ongoing upheaval, which reflects the persistent tectonic forces shaping the trench. The steepness of the subduction zone and active fault lines further increase the potential for large earthquakes and tsunamis, making the Puerto Rico Trench a critical area for scientific study and monitoring. The trench's complex geology plays a major role in the geophysical processes of the Caribbean Basin, with ongoing seismic hazards and the potential for significant seismic events. Long before modern instruments, earthquakes along this undersea frontier shaped lives in Puerto Rico and its neighbors. The 1787 Boricua earthquake remains legendary among seismic historians, believed to have been between magnitude 6.9 and possibly as high as 8.2 struck north of Puerto Rico. Though casualty data is sparse, Geomorphological signs suggest a tsunami struck shortly after, highlighting the trench's historical significance. In 1867, a magnitude 7.2 earthquake struck the region, followed by a devastating tsunami that caused widespread damage to coastal communities in Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, resulting in significant loss of life. In the 20th century, the 1918 San Fermin earthquake, magnitude 7.2, generated a devastating tsunami that battered Puerto Rico's western coast, causing over a hundred deaths and millions of dollars of damage. It remains one of the deadliest seismic events in the island's recorded memory. A few decades later, the 1943 earthquake, magnitude 7.7, .7, struck near Mona Canyon along the trench. Despite its power, its timing and focus helped limit loss of life only minor injuries and structural damage with a small tsunami reported. These past events underline the recurrent potential of seismic rupture and the dangerous tsunamis that can follow. In the 21st century, seismic activity near Puerto Rico continues as a persistent reminder of the trench's unresolved tension. In January 2014, a magnitude 6.4 earthquake north of Puerto Rico originated from oblique thrust faulting above the trench's subduction interface, an unmistakable signal that strain remains active in the region. The dramatic 2019-2020 sequence, however, stole global attention. A swarm of quakes began in late 2019, climaxing with a magnitude 6.4 shock, 
on January 7, 2020. Lives were lost, infrastructure crippled, and the island plunged into a humanitarian crisis. It highlighted not only existing vulnerabilities, but also the gaps in preparedness across the territory. Since then, seismic monitoring has improved, but activity has remained vigorous. In 2024 and 2025, the Puerto Rico Trench region experienced a series of significant seismic events. In May 2024, a 5.6 earthquake was felt in both Puerto Rico and Punta Cana. In early 2025, a 5.9 magnitude earthquake struck near Punta Cana, strongly fell in western Puerto Rico, but no damage or tsunami warning was issued. On May 4, 2025, a 5.6 earthquake shook the Virgin Islands and eastern Puerto Rico, followed by two 5.7 earthquakes in June, which caused minor damage and power outages in western Puerto Rico. Several aftershocks followed these events. Seismic activity continued into August 2025 with a 5.7 earthquake striking off the southeast coast of the Dominican Republic, felt across Puerto Rico but causing no damage. Throughout mid-2025, the Puerto Rico Seismic Network recorded many smaller tremors, highlighting the sustained tectonic release across multiple faults. These events demonstrate the ongoing seismic hazards in the region, reminding both the public and scientists of the potential for larger earthquakes and tsunamis. The Puerto Rico Trench harbors the potential for a megaquake a magnitude 8.0 or greater event along its subduction interface that could rupture the long dormant fault. The lack of such a rupture for over 200 years suggests a buildup of strain that may be approaching a breaking point. The region's not-so-infrequent tremors are mere pale echoes of what might occur if that strain finds release in a massive rupture. The damage from such an event would be multifaceted, violent ground shaking across Puerto Rico and nearby islands, widespread structural collapse, severe disruption of infrastructure, and, most dangerous of all, a tsunami. Past events like the 1918 earthquake show how rapidly a tsunami could follow. A modern megaquake could produce waves capable of devastating coastal regions in seconds or minutes, with little warning. Furthermore, the urban and coastal density of Puerto Rico, including the condensed populations of San Juan and surrounding towns, would magnify the human and economic toll. The island's infrastructure, roads, bridges, power grids, water systems, remains vulnerable to even moderate quakes. A megaquake could overwhelm response capacities, cause unpredictable landslides, and isolate communities. Beyond Puerto Rico, U.S. Virgin Islands, Dominican Republic, Haiti, and other Caribbean territories would face tsunami threats while financial markets, tourism, and regional stability could all spiral amidst loss and uncertainty. Planning, evacuation, and communication systems would be tested, possibly beyond limits. In response to the seismic hazards posed by the Puerto Rico Trench, significant investments have been made in preparedness, monitoring, and scientific research. The Puerto Rico Seismic Network operated by the University of Puerto Rico, provides real-time earthquake data, enabling early warning systems that give authorities and residents advance notice of seismic events. In addition to monitoring, scientific research, including geophysical surveys, seafloor mapping, and submersible expeditions, has deepened our understanding of the trench's morphology and tectonic forces. This research, coupled with collaborations with the United States Geological Survey, has enhanced seismic hazard models and improved earthquake detection through networks that track ground deformation and strain patterns. Notably, the 2019-2020 swarm prompted the deployment of additional monitoring instruments. Tsunami warning systems, coordinated by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Caribbean Tsunami Warning Program, provide real-time alerts to Puerto Rico and neighboring nations, supported by evacuation plans and public education efforts. In 2025, the USGS released a major update to its seismic hazard model, feeding into building codes and emergency planning. 
Despite improvements, gaps in awareness and uneven implementation of preparedness measures remain a challenge across communities. The Puerto Rico Trench stands as one of the most formidable seismic threats in the Caribbean, with a history marked by devastating earthquakes and tsunamis. Despite recent advancements in monitoring and scientific understanding, the trench remains an unpredictable and dangerous geological feature. While scientists cannot pinpoint the exact moment of a major rupture, the region's history and the heightened seismic activity in recent years make it clear. The trench is capable of producing catastrophic events, and the threat is imminent. Puerto Rico and its neighboring islands must treat the Puerto Rico Trench as an urgent regional issue. Continued investments in seismic monitoring, tsunami warning systems, and public education campaigns are essential to reduce the impact of future disasters. The technology and knowledge are available. What's needed now is sustained action, government commitment, and a coordinated regional approach. The silence of the Puerto Rico Trench is not comfort. It is a stark reminder that the region must be prepared. With so much at stake, the trench's risks must be treated as a global priority, demanding both attention and readiness.